This is a story for all who love Texas. Ben Masters, man, it's so good to get to talk to you. Uh, I got to give you major props on this film. So I've already watched it twice, and I sent a note to your publicist saying that it is really the best Texas wildlife film I think ever made. Uh, well, I appreciate it, man. Glad you liked it. I'm a big fan of it as well, and we've spent four years putting it together. So it feels good to get it out and have people see it and, and connect with it. Why was it so important for you to make this film? I mean, this is my home. This is, this is where we live. You know, we've got all these amazing success stories over the last hundred years that, in my opinion, haven't been given proper uh, acknowledgement of, you know, take, for example, the Desert Bighorn Sheep Program out in West Texas, where we've gone from zero animals to over 2,000 in the last 50 years or you know the the bison after almost all of our bison were slaughtered and we literally had less than a dozen you know we've since raised those numbers they're both you know public lands and private lands where there, there's now thousands of them so there's a lot of examples of you know humans doing amazing stuff for wildlife in texas and, and managing our lands well and there's also obviously a lot of a lot of areas for improvement and uh, like take, for example, the ocelot, which, you know, has been endangered for 50 years and, you know, there's still less than a hundred uh, known animals. So I think the movie is a way to kind of see our state in a new way. You had sent me a trailer previously to this and then I was like, man, Matthew McConaughey would be great for this. And then I'd reach out to you and you're like, yeah, Matthew just finished his voiceover today. I was like, dude, perfect. But how'd you get Matthew involved in this? <laughs> he, he nailed the performance. I mean, it's so good. It, you know, every filmmaker wants to work with Matthew McConaughey. And it was, it was a deal where we were about halfway through production and we were able to put together a you know, 40 minute sample footage of this is this is our movie. It had my voice in there as Tim. And I approached Matthew uh, via his agent and asked his agent if he would be interested in, in being the narrator for Texas's wildlife movie. And uh, he called me back the next day. It was like Matthew watched it and loved it and would love to be a part of it and, you know, help out these causes. This is a story for all who love Texas.